Do sugar-free gummy bears have a laxative effect? The reviews say they do. The science behind it says they do. But I had to know for sure, so I ate a load of them, for science. I got a one kilogram pack, but only had about 300 grams of them. At the time, I thought that maybe I should have had more. With hindsight, I'm pleased I didn't. The first hour was quiet, but my stomach began to churn. I could hear the gummy bears gradually grinding through my guts, squelching and squirming as they went. Using a super cool microphone I found under the stairs, I was able to capture it all on film for your viewing pleasure. In less than two hours, disaster struck. Out shot a bronze brown bubbly bottom blast of what looked like curry juice. It hit the toilet bowl with enough force to spray the underside of the toilet seat. Personally, diarrhea doesn't bother me that much. It's the agonizing bloating that really wrecks me. It got worse and worse until I seriously thought I'd rupture something. It raged on for over eight hours, eased only by violent twerking to shake it through my system sooner. At points, I was close to being sick. I slipped in and out of consciousness, having weird, vivid dreams before being woken up to rush to the toilet again. It was so messy, so relentless, that towards the end I didn't even bother wiping. Another thing I haven't heard anybody mentioning is the chemically smell of the sweets. They're okay before you eat them, but soon the sweetness dissipates and you're left with a very familiar, yet totally off-putting aftersmell which lingers on your fingers and mouth, even after showering as though it's permeating through your pores. It became super off-putting and served as a constant reminder of the series of mistakes which had led to this moment. I can only describe this whole experience as like food poisoning, but from the other end. It was the worst experience I've had in a very long time. As stingy as I am, I wouldn't go through it again for anything less than several thousand pounds. You hear that, potential sponsors? Several thousand pounds. Eventually the bloating subsided and I spent half the next day letting off massive farts almost exactly every 10 minutes. The most punctual flatulence I've ever had, in fact. It was over 24 hours before my bowels returned to normal. But the experience will never be forgotten, nor will their funky, fetid flavour. In years to come, when people ask me if I voted to stay in or to leave the EU, I replied that I didn't vote. Not because I didn't want to, but because I spent the day in agony, glued to the toilet seat. June the 23rd was the day that shit hit the fan, in more ways than one. I've left the remaining pack in the kitchen for anybody who wants to live life dangerously. My housemates have heard the stories. They know the risks. But who would be foolish enough to have them after all of this? <laughs>